Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. I missed you guys. Follow me on Snapchat or actually my Facebook, my beauty Facebook. I did let you guys know that I was going out of town and we ended up going a couple days earlier than we expected so I wasn't able to pre-record any videos except for last Monday. But basically, uh, my boyfriend and I, we drove back home to Washington, um, our home, and we just to visit family and friends for the 4th of July weekend. It was amazing. It was much needed. It was so good seeing everybody. It was actually our first time back home since we moved here to Colorado so it was amazing how are you guys how was your week last week how was your 4th of July did you do anything fun let me know in the comments down below we just did a barbecue at my family's house my parents house um, and then we went over to a friend's beach house in the evening uh, to watch some fireworks and stuff as well okay, so I don't want to blabber too much but it's so good to just kind of sit down get back in the swing of things and just talk to you guys I've missed you guys and yeah today we're gonna be doing a top five series this is gonna be my another top five series this is gonna be my top five under five dollars so my top five makeup products under the price of five dollars let's get into the video Number one goes to, and these aren't in any order, just my top five. Number one would go to the NYX Butter Glosses, the original Butter Glosses. These retail for $4.99. They have a pretty good shade selection. I mean, they're 12 to 15 different shades. Um, I do have a couple of them. My all-time favorite is Cream Brulee. It is that perfect nudie peach. It goes wonderful with all skin tones. But what I really like about it, it's that perfect nude for me with my olive uh, tannish complexion. And it's not going to wash my lips out or anything like that. This is just such a go-to. These are some of my all-time favorite lip products. They're amazing. The formula is insane. It is so buttery smooth. It's not sticky. It's glossy. They don't last the longest on your lips, but for $4.99, you can't really complain about that. And they're so easy to apply, uh, to reapply as well. They don't go on patchy, anything like that. Um, and they also smell like vanilla cupcakes. So if you've not tried the next butter glasses, I highly recommend them. I do know that they also have the intense butter glasses as well, but... These are oldies, but definitely goodies. Number two goes to the City Color B Matte Blushes. City Color Cosmetics is something that I discovered, I think, like two years ago now when I got a blush in my Ipsy bag. And ever since I got that blush, it was actually Fresh Melon. It was this blush right here, Fresh Melon. It's a beautiful kind of like neon coral color. It's not really picking up true to shade. There it is. But ever since I got that, I fell in love with these. I started stocking their site where I can buy them. And ever since then, I've accumulated so much stuff from them, so many makeup products, and I'm just obsessed. So these blushes retail for $4.99, again, right under that $5 mark. They do have quite a few shades now, um, and my all-time favorite would have to be Sweet Pea. This is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It's the one that I wear pretty much in every single video. It's that perfect, everyday, go-to kind of mauve but neutral blush and it's perfect for all skin tones they are completely matte they feel so velvety smooth I just cannot get enough of them they're just swatched it has a slight tint of um, tea rose in there too it's really beautiful it's like a dusty mauve they're completely matte and they're huge these come in 0.314 ounces whereas a typical blush comes in about 0.12 ounces so you also get a lot of product for how affordable they are as well. And I actually do have a coupon code, Katarina Smith. I'll link it down below for 10% off your order of City Color Cosmetics um, to make it even more affordable if you guys are interested. Number three has to go to a bronzer. This is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder. This one in particular is in Fire Island Tan. And these retail for about $4 to $4.47. So under that $5 mark, of course all these are under that $5 mark. What I like about this is that they come in about four to five different shades, so that's really nice for the drugstore to have a beautiful bronzer that also does come in different shades, not just, you know, a one shade type of bronzer. This one, again, if I didn't already say it, is in Fire Island Tan. Now that I have a pretty strong tan going on, it doesn't show up as much as I would like. You probably won't be able to see it. But these are amazing. Again, they feel so velvety smooth. They have micro, micro shimmers in there, but it just creates a very beautiful sheen on your cheeks. You don't see any glitter or anything like that. These are some of the best drugstore bronzers out there. Love it. Next, here we have the LA Girl Pro HD Concealers. These are just something else, you guys. These are outstanding. These also retail for about $4.99. They did used to retail for $2.99, and they recently just bumped it up to $4.99. Kind of a bummer, but still... Bumber? <laughs> kind of a bummer, but still under that $5 mark, so that is really good. And they have like 28 different shades. Huge shade selection, perfect for um, any skin tone, whether you want to conceal under your eyes, you want to brighten, you want to correct. My favorite one is in the shade Nude, because it's, it's that perfect 
peachy shade and this is what I really like to use for concealing or correcting my under eye dark circles so here it is swatched I did use this in my it is the concealer I have under my eyes today I did use this in my how to cover up dark circles if you guys want to see a full-blown in action this stuff is amazing for correcting those bluish purple under eye dark circles they also do carry an orange one a very bright orange um, I know a lot of people do like to use really orange concealers to conceal under their eyes. I just really like to go for a salmon shade and this is the perfect salmon shade. If you guys want me to do a whole separate video on, I think I have four or five of them and I can swatch them out for you guys because I know it is kind of hard to tell online which shade you want to do, which one has more of a pink undertone or a neutral or a yellow. Let me know if you guys want me to do full on swatches and talk in depth about these. I can definitely do that. Last but most certainly not least is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Colors. These are amazing you guys. My all time favorite formula for a lip product is right here in this little tube. This retails for only $3, so very well under that $5 mark. This is the lip color that I have on today underneath um, Hard Candy's Idolize lipstick, but this is the main color that you're seeing. They're pretty much the same color. This is in the shade Tea Rose. I really like this one and then the shade Natural. If I were to create a lipstick, it would be very, very similar to this. This is my color in a tube. This is exactly what I want in a lipstick. It is that perfect mauve dusty tea rose pinkish purple. And I just absolutely love it. Cannot say enough good things about it. And for only $3, you guys, I'm getting a matte lip color. It's amazing. I'll set onto your fine lines. They last a really long time. They're not drying. They are pretty moisturizing for being a matte lipstick. They have a really nice shade selection for these, and they're always adding to this collection as well. Alright guys, so that completes my top 5 under 5. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below, what is your current favorite product under the price of $5? Especially if it's not one of the ones that I mentioned. I'm very curious. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for new makeup, and especially affordable makeup at that. It was so good to sit down and talk to you guys again. Um, you can expect next week to go back to normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads. This week is still a little bit hectic because I just kind of want to pump out videos for you guys. But then next week, um, starting on Monday. We'll go back to the normal schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That way you can stay up to date with all of my new videos. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. Coming up to the end of June, so it is time to do our June favorites. And I have three fails this month as well, you guys. I don't know what is going on. Some makeup is just not working out for me. So we're going to start on the positive note and start with all of the favorites and then we'll talk